Hi everyone and welcome to part 6 of this body slide series. In this video we're going to learn more about groups and using the group filter, and how this relates to batch building your outfits. You can also read about groups on the body slide wiki or the Nexus body slide guide. See the links under resources in the video description. Groups are just a way to organize outfits in body slide. They don't affect the final outfit or shape. To build outfits, you can select each one individually in the body slash outfit dropdown list, but that gets really tedious for building multiple things. So mod authors, or you, can assign outfits to different groups, and you can pick a whole group to build at once. Outfits can, and often will, belong to more than one group. Aside from saving you time and hassle, groups are important because they identify which slider sets an outfit can use. For example, a BHUNP outfit has a different set of sliders versus CBBE. So the BHUNP outfit would not be in the CBBE group, but it should be in the BHUNP group. If your outfits or sliders disappear when you select a group, then it means the outfit is not included in that group. And this can even happen if you pick the body group the outfit was made for. If the author of the project did not put the outfit into its appropriate body type group, or perhaps did not even create groups for the outfit at all. For example, the CBBE IAR armors were not added to the CBBE group. So when I select CBBE, they are being filtered out and are no longer in the drop-down list. If the presets disappear when you select your outfit or its group, then it means the outfit is not included in any of the preset slider groups, which basically means the body types, that you have installed. This might be an oversight by whoever created the project, and if that's the case, you'll have to fix it yourself. Keep watching and I'll show you how. And by the way, this particular outfit was set up perfectly in the original mod. I just broke it on purpose so I could show you an example. So now we know what groups are, but how do we use them? This is easy. Just click here in the group filter box and select choose groups. The choices in this list will depend on which mods that you have installed and activated. At a minimum, you should see all the body mod add-ons that you've got installed. For example, I have CBBE, BHUNP, and Himbo installed, and they are all choices here. You should also see choices for outfits if you have any installed and activated, unless whoever made their body slide projects did not create a group for them. If that is the case, your outfit will be in the unassigned category. Tick the box for only what you want in this list. If your outfit is listed, just tick that unless you actually want to see every single outfit that is available for a certain body type, in which case you could just choose the body type like CBBE. If the creator of the project did not make a group for your outfit, then the outfit pieces will be in the unassigned category, so choose that. This is not ideal because there can be a lot of stuff that ends up in the unassigned list. Like here, I have lots of outfits without slider groups, which you can also see in the mod itself because it probably won't have a slider groups folder. And that's all you have to do to select groups. Now when you click on batch build, only the outfits assigned to the group or groups you picked will show up in the list of things to build. Note that this is an OR function, meaning whatever is listed in this group or that group or any other group that you picked will be included in the list. Both mod authors and mod users may find themselves needing to edit outfit groups. This is not difficult once you know what to click on. To edit a group, select the Group Manager button up here. This pop-up window is where you can make or edit groups. If you are editing a group, you will first have to load up this slider group that you want to change. Let's say I want to change what's in the group of ZZJ's wardrobe outfits. In this box, I click on Browse and navigate to the slider group XML file that I want to edit. This is probably all located in the data folder, Caliente Tools, Body Slide, and Slider Groups. 
In this top left box are the groups associated with this mod slider group XML file. There should always be a minimum of two groups, the outfit group and the body mod that it's made for, which tells BodySlide which slider presets go with the outfits. In this case, we will get CBBE slider presets since these items are all included in the CBBE group. There can be more than two groups listed here, depending on how the mod author set it up. When you click on a group name, you can see all the outfit pieces included in that group in the box below. These are called members. You can add more items to the group by selecting them from the outfit list on the right and clicking Add. Or you can remove items from the group by selecting them from the members group on the left and clicking Remove. You can also remove a group entirely by clicking Remove Group here in the middle. Let's add a group so you can see how this works. First, type the name of your group in this line here and hit Add Group. Then select that group in the top box and you'll see that it does not contain any members yet. We have to put the outfits we want associated with this group into the bottom box by selecting them from the list on the right. We can make this easier by filtering by the outfit name. For example, I will type ZZJ in here so we only have outfits from this mod to pick from. I'm going to put only the plate items in my new group. I can do this one at a time by selecting the item and clicking Add, or I can select multiple items using Control or Shift click and then add them all at once. And that's it. Then I can save up here and the new group has been saved to this mod's slider groups file. We can close out of this window, then click in the group filter box, select refresh groups, and our new group should be listed in the options. When I select that and hit batch build, I now only get the items that I assigned to this new group. If I decide that I don't want this group anymore, I just go back to the group manager browse to the mod's slider group XML file, then select the group I don't like and hit remove group. Save again, close the window, refresh groups, and now you can see that that group is gone from the list. Making a new slider group is a lot like editing an existing one, except we have to build it from scratch. To start off, just make a new group. Always, always, always add the body type the outfit is for and use the exact name, like CBBE in this case. Then select the items to include in it and hit Add. You can then make your outfit specific group and add the outfits again. If you want to change the name of a group, double click on it and type in the new name. When you are finished, click on Save As. Give the slider group file an appropriate name and hit Save. If you use MO2, this file will probably be found in your Overwrite folder, unless you change the path when you set up the body slide executable. For Vortex, it should be in the Data folder under Caliente Tools, Body Slide, Slider Groups, unless you have set up a different path in the body slide settings. If you want the file to be included in the outfit mod, just find it and copy it over to the mod. The correct folder structure inside the mod is Caliente Tools, Body Slide, Slider Groups, and then your XML file. You'll need to exit Body Slide and either refresh MO2 or redeploy Vortex so the new filter group will load. We talked about this a bit already, but before we wrap up, let's have a quick look at what using groups does to the batch build window. If I select no groups, this is what I get. Literally every body and outfit that I have installed and activated that is body slide compatible. We do not want to have to go through this entire list to find just what we want. Now if I choose only the CBBE group, I get everything that has a group called CBBE in its XML slider groups file. This is still a huge number of things, and I don't really advise building an entire body set of everything all at once. 
Instead, if I choose only CBBE bodies, for example, then I get only the options for building a CBBE body, hands, and feet, with the available variations like static, physics, never nude, underwear, or, since I have it installed, 3BA. Or I can choose just an outfit group. And again, this brings up a very manageable list of things to review. From here, I just finalize my selections and continue through these windows to complete the building process. Don't forget to click the little gray circle with an X in the filter boxes up here to clear the filters when you are done. One last little tidbit, you can use both the group filter and the outfit name filter together to narrow your selections down even more. Or sometimes, the project creator will not make a group for the outfits, but will give them all a naming prefix or suffix that you can use in this outfit filter box. And that's it for this explanation of groups in BodySlide. Proper usage of groups by both mod authors and BodySlide users makes everyone's life a lot easier. In a later video, we will do some batch building together so you can see more about groups in action. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Until then, happy outfitting!